So have you heard of CoQ10? Another name for that is ubiquinol. Do you need to take it? Should you take it? Why do people take it? What role does CoQ10 play inside your body? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. CoQ10 plays a few different roles inside of our body. We're gonna specifically talk today about where does CoQ10 play a role in the electron transport chain. Before we get into that, let me just show you a quick summary of what the electron transport chain is and what it does, and then we'll get into exactly where does CoQ10 fit in that picture. The electron transport chain is literally that last few steps of energy production in our cells and picture it as a factory. As a factory, you need to deliver raw materials and then you need to process those raw materials in order to make a product. And in this case, the product is ATP, which is the currency of cellular energy. It's what cells need to do all the different jobs that cells are required to do. And so we have in the electron transport chain, we have to get electrons from one end of the factory as a raw material through each step of the way until we get to the last step, which is ultimately energy production. There are a few spots in the electron transport chain that are considered to be stationary. And then you have a few spots in the electron transport chain which are considered mobile. And the mobile carriers are responsible for picking up electrons from one complex and delivering it to the next. And it just repeats that cycle. So you're trying to get electrons down this chain and a few of these are stationary. You can't get electrons from one complex to the next magically. You need a delivery system to do that. So mobile carriers are just that. They go back to one complex and deliver, and all they do is repeat that. And as long as we can move electrons down that chain, we can get the electrons to the last step and ultimately create energy as a result. They have long names. We're not gonna get into their long scientific names in this moment. So we'll just call them complex one, complex two, complex three, complex four. And ultimately two mobile carriers. One is called ubiquinol and the other one is called cytochrome C. Okay, so as we just discussed, CoQ10 is considered to be a mobile carrier, meaning it's literally gonna be one of the rate limiting steps in ATP production. Imagine you had all of this energy density from either eating the right food, being in ketosis, taking NAD, taking NR, NMN, all these different precursors. You have all of this raw material being delivered to the factory. It's all getting dumped into complex one, but we need to get that energy density from complex one to complex two and CoQ10 is literally the ping pong that's going to bring that energy from complex one, complex two, delivered to complex three. And if we don't have sufficient amount of CoQ10, we're gonna have energy density building up on one side of the factory, and we're never gonna be able to process all of those electrons efficiently, making a normal, healthy amount of ATP. And so one of the places that CoQ10 is critical in cellular function is right there as a mobile electron carrier delivering electrons from complex one and complex two. How much should you take? When should you take it? These questions really vary greatly. Most people around 50 milligrams to 100 milligrams. If you're taking statins, one of the consequences of taking statins is its effect on ubiquinol or CoQ10 in your system. And so you do need to take higher amounts. Ultimately, the amount that you would take would really be dependent on the dosage of statin that somebody was taking. Understand that somewhere around 50 to 100 milligrams is pretty standard, higher amounts if you're taking any medications, particularly statins. And again, making sure that you're getting it on a regular daily basis so that you're continually fulfilling your need for CoQ10 at the cellular level for being a mobile electron carrier. What timing doesn't really matter in terms of other modalities like taking it before hyperbaric or after hyperbaric or before red light or after red light it doesn't really play a role, but making sure you're getting it on a regular basis, especially like a daily basis so that you're fulfilling your need for CoQ10, that would definitely be important. And also make sure you're getting ubiquinol, which is the most bioavailable version of CoQ10. And so check which form of CoQ10 you're getting to make sure you're getting the right kind. I hope you find that helpful. And again, this is part of a series of videos starting from what is cellular metabolism? Why are we doing doing it, what role does it play, and what is the electron transport chain, and where did the different modalities we're using in our lives fit in the electron transport chain. So this is one of a series. Make sure you catch the couple we did before, and of course the next few, so you understand the full story.